Okay, so let's add a setting for case sensitive or insensitive search or comparison between the long text and this list of words that we have. Um, in previous versions of rules and also uh, in, well, as it works in C tools and many other parts of Drupal, um, this uh, would be done by adding some configuration form to uh, to the condition, but not in rules for Drupal 7 because rules for Drupal 7 is so smart, so it's well, it's ridiculous. Uh, this is done by adding a new parameter to uh, to the condition instead, and we're going to add a boolean parameter, boolean parameter, so we can set true false whether it, uh, comparison should be made uh, case sensitive or insensitive. So I'm going into rules coding .rules .include and modifying this. Uh, condition that we have. Let's copy that. Uh, case sensitive, I'm gonna call it. And I think the type name is boolean, but let's double check that. Going back to the site here, configuration workflow, rules, rules dev info. The data types here, do we have boolean? Boolean, yes we do. Okay, nice. Here it is. Boolean. I'm gonna uh, have a label do case sensitive search. Okay, this means that we now have three input parameters to to the function down here. So I'm gonna add one here: list of words, haystack, and case sensitive. Uh, and well, I guess here we could, and then what? Let's uh, let's do like this. This is probably not the quickest way of doing it, um, but let's let's try. If case sensitive, if we should do a case sensitive search, then we do. Well, let's copy this here. Then we do not a case insensitive search, but this str str function instead. String in string function. Let's make sure it has the same syntax. Yeah, haystack needle. Good. Uh, and if not, else we do the insensitive search here. Okay, so this is kind of ugly code, but. Uh, the thing I want to show is the um, the thing that we just add a new parameter here, which will then appear as a um, as a setting in the uh, in the condition. So let's have a look at that uh, conditions workflow rules uh, components. I think I still have the temporary component here. Yes, good. If I edit this one here, it now has. Uh, List of words to search for, text to search in, and let's let's actually clear the cache. That's always a good thing. Here, do case sensitive search like this, and you can see we have here the possibility to switch to data selection if we want to and pick some boolean value from what the rules has available. Let's actually remove that one. We can see how that is done. Looking at conditions. I think, I think, I think, well, let's see, operation here, um, restriction, here it is, restriction, uh, either input or, uh, I think the other one is selection, I'm not sure, but restriction is the, the setting we want to use here. So let's do that, case sensitive, restriction, Input means that uh, it's manual input on the config screen. There. Okay, almost done. Uh, I think I have to clear cache again. Yeah. So let's flush it. And here it is. Only uh, manual input. Um, and that's it. Cool. Um, yeah. 
Uh, I hope this was kind of fun. I, I think it's really, really interesting that the configuration in rules is also done with the uh, uh, data types and data parameters. Uh, I think that's a really, really powerful concept that should be implemented on many places. But, but yeah, that's it. See you in uh, the next exercise then. Bye.